What's up, YouTube? So Electric E-Bikes has announced a new model for the masses out there. The Electric XP Lite is a new lightweight model that will sell for just $7.99. And uh, according to the company and the email I got, quote, this game-changing extension of Electric XP uh, Electric E-Bikes fits seamlessly into fast-paced urban lifestyles while all while maintaining the affordability and comfort you know and love about our original XP model. So the news broke this morning, of course. Uh, looks like they sent out a few e-bikes to um, some of the bigger uh, e-bike channels. If you wanna watch some of those, I just watched one with uh, Michael Toll from Electric. Um, and today I wanna to give you my thoughts on the uh, new e-bike, I'll go over the specs, and also review what people are saying about this on the, uh, the Facebook group. So let's dive in. I have a friend actually, <clears throat> who's out at the Phoenix headquarters today. And he's ridden the e-bike. Uh, he actually texted me, says, uh, uh, quote, it's light and nimble. Uh, the range is not much different than 2.0. And he describes it as a pocket knife that is going to appeal to the RV crowd along with the urban commuter. And so uh, this is definitely geared toward the city uh, uh, e-biker out there. Um, and uh, yeah, let's dive in. So uh, I got three kind of uh, just high level thoughts here for you about the, the new launch. So number one, you know, I, I think this is now the best lightweight e-bike in the industry. I'd rather buy this over other lightweight models like the, the Fido or the Pella Mini maybe and some of the other, you know, smaller stuff out there. Uh, this is a cool looking e-bike uh, that still folds. That's still got some, you know, pretty decent sized tires and um, it still gets you to where you need to go. So that's number one. Number two, I absolutely love the color choices here. The electric blue, the sandstorm, the black and the white. I mean, uh, they, they need to come out with these colors for all their e-bikes, not just the light ones here. Uh, but I just love this color combinations. If I was gonna buy one, I'd probably buy the sandstorm uh, in terms of the color. That's just a cool one. Also the electric blue is also nice too. And I like the black one with just the kind of the black and white uh, colors there, no blue or anything. So a little bit less flashy there. The white one's okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I rank these in terms of the color choices, probably the sand, the electric blue, the black, and then the, and the white. So, uh, but yeah, I wish they would come out, you know, with uh, every other one of their models have these color choices. That would really, I think, uh, please the... Uh, Electric XP fans out there. Um, and number three, you know, Electric is doubling down here on their mission of affordability uh, for, the, for the masses out there. I think the, the XP Lite will have a smaller audience than the XP2, of course, but I, I think it will soon be the most popular lightweight e-bike in the country, um, given the, uh, you know, the Electric brand, uh, the customer service that people love. Uh, I, I just see this becoming, you know, sort of the, the default um, e-bike out there for, for many, many people. Um, it's going to have a smaller audience than I think a 2.0 because it's heavy, it's lighter. It's basically about what? It's uh, 15 pounds lighter, uh, something like that, uh, maybe 14 pounds. Um, now, let's see. So the uh, XP is 63. This is 46. So it is 18 pounds, I guess. I did my math correctly, uh, don't quote me. But um, yeah, I, I, you know, electric is all about affordability. That's what I think a lot of people forget, um, the people who do complain <clears throat> about, uh, you know, bigger motors, bigger batteries, things like that. Um, they're trying to get as many e-bikes uh, into the hands of people as possible. And a 799 bike is just a, I think a home run for them uh, and the market. And so uh, I think they're gonna sell a lot of these things. You know, maybe if the electric XP sold, you know, 100,000, which is their number, you know, I could see them selling, you know, 20,000 of these um, in the first year or so. So, but, uh, but we shall see. Let's go over the specs and uh, dive into what this new e-bike offers the market. Of course, you have your different colors. Uh, they say it ships within four weeks. So, um I first looked at the page this morning, it said five weeks, actually. So 
looks like they've already lowered that. Uh, I wonder, I'm assuming they have the bikes in house if they've already sent out some of the testers and things like that, but you can get your different packages with it, of course, comfort package, carry package with the racks um, and uh, community package. Uh, interesting to note, they're offering slime as a uh, pre-installed option uh, for you flat tire uh, fanatics. Um, I thought that's interesting to note, uh, pretty cool. And let's see here, uh, let's go into the specs. <clears throat> it's basically a light version of the XP if you go through it. 46 pounds, battery weighs seven pounds. Uh, similar capacity, 275, rear racks at 75 pounds. Size folded, 36 by 16 by 26. I'm curious if the, the box of ships is gonna be a little bit smaller, I would think so, given it's a smaller footprint. The battery, let's talk about the battery, 7.8 hours, but it's still a 48 volt battery, which is the key thing here. So with a lighter weight um, and uh, a smaller battery, you should still get about 40 miles on the on PAS-1. And so the, the range here hasn't really affected it because it is a, a lower weight bike. 160 millimeter brakes, uh, the motor, 300 watt. They say it peaks to 720. That's pretty good power there. Um, and it still goes 20 miles an hour. So, you know, this is, uh, it's a single speed bike as well. Um, no more seven speed derailleur to deal with. So I'm not sure how it's gonna do on hills, but if you look, uh, live in flat conditions in a city, um, uh, I think it's gonna be a great option for that. Uh, it's gonna have uh, 2.4 by 20 inch tires. So the XP comes with uh, 20 by threes, of course. And, uh, um, you can now take this uh, uh, e-bike on Amtrak because Amtrak's limit, I think, on, e on bikes is 50 pounds. And plus this one's folds too. So uh, that's a pretty cool thing. I just went to Philadelphia actually last week and uh, I took Amtrak. That would have been great if I could have brought my uh, XP light on the uh, trail, on the train. Uh, I, just, I walked around the uh, historical parts of the city and I could have done that a lot faster and quicker with uh with my XP and brought it into the hotel um, uh, that I was staying at. So uh, that's a nice, I think it's a nice option for uh, you know, train riders as well. That's something to keep in mind. <clears throat> it's class two capability, still has five levels of assist. And they broke out the ranges here for each pedal assist level, as well as throttle only, which is nice to see. And this is a real world range test, they say, with a rider who weighs 180 pounds and tires that are at 45 PSI. Uh, and this is all flat ground, of course, as well. So PS1, 40 miles range, six to seven miles an hour. That's extremely slow. Nobody rides like that. Um, PS2 and three are really where you're gonna get the, the, the main mileage, 22 to 31 there. Throttle only says 15 miles, if you're averaging 20 miles an hour. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty pretty good to see that. I mean, that's still a pretty decent uh, range given the price and given the weight of the bike. So, uh, you know, it's, it's still similar to what the XP uh, offers as well. I'm gonna be doing a uh, range test on the XP 2.0 with a 10.4 amp hour battery upcoming. So stay tuned for those videos. Here is a quick look at the video for the bike. Let's see. If Play this here for you. This is Robbie and Levi. 2019, we have received tens of thousands of requests for an e bike that is more compact, lighter, and more maneuverable. After a year of growth and innovation since our last release, we are thrilled to announce a game changing extension to our XP. Introducing the electric XP Lite. You guys doing wheelies on it, huh? That's how light it is. Yeah. Most lightweight e-bikes come with like 36 volt systems. So uh, keep that in mind. Best of all, the XP Lite maintains our hidden and easily swappable battery compartment. As well as Definitely looks like a smaller battery just physically. Throttle, integrated front and rear lights, high water resistance, and efficient disc brakes. 
helping you get anywhere, anytime. And this new model is perfect for riders on the go. And it can fold up small enough to fit under your desk or into any car trip. Perfect for commuters and travelers alike. All right. Let's take a look now what people are saying about it on the Facebook groups, because there's definitely a lot of comments going on. I'm on the uh, electric uh, XP e-bike owners group here on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description to it. Um, 17,000 people on there. So uh, here we go here. So uh, Eric says, only advantage of this bike is the reduced weight. Good for someone who can't lift the 2.0. Thinner tires should fit on the bike rack better, as well as Amtrak, he says. Uh, if those are in the major considerations for you, not a bad bike. If the 2.0 is a much better value, more serious commuter bike, uh, as opposed to a last mile bike like the Jetson. Um, Justin says, I've seen a lot of people in this group who don't ride fast, don't use the gear shifter, want something light to travel with, looking for something cheap. This is the perfect option for them. I agree. Um, I think it's, uh, you know, if it's, it's now the new baseline. Uh, for your basic entry-level e-bike. Uh, Nick says, I really like it. If they had a stick-through version, I would order two of them today for sure. Also kind of miss the fenders, but overall it's a great addition. Yeah, I mean, they, they're trying to save money there with the fenders not being there. Uh, that's the reason they can do $7.99. Um, you know, to me, uh, the step-through version and, and uh, the XP Lite, anybody can ride that bike, short, um, short or not. Uh, I, I don't think the electric, the step through really gives you, it only gives you a couple more inches of, of just lay clearance. I mean, both of these uh, versions, uh, the frame models are easy to step over. Let's face it. And by the way, this is a new frame too. It's not the, it's not the same frame as the 2.0. It is a, a different frame from what, I've from what I'm being told. Um, so keep that in mind. It's probably a little bit... Uh, smaller and lighter, I would think, but we'll have to compare the two uh, side by side to, to see that. Uh, let's see here. Eric says, I think it makes a great entry point, especially for kids and those who live in communities that are mostly flat, also for senior citizens. Happy to see this new cheaper line released. Lisa says, great entry into the e-bike world. Very smart of them to have this option. I think it's better for people in the city. We love our 2.0 and we'll wait for upgrades to that, but they were very smart to go in this direction. Uh, Larry says, a real letdown. The individuals that would want the lighter bike would most likely need to step through. Electric made a big mistake here. They're almost, the, almost 20 pounds in reduced weight. If it were a step through, it would have, been a, would have made this a very desirable bike. 799 price tag doesn't seem much of a bargain since you are giving up the fenders. Yeah. I mean, the difference between the 799 and the 999 is not very big. I mean, if you can afford 799, you can typically afford 999, in my opinion, overall, but... Again, uh, I think the reason to get this light version is the is the weight, uh, number one, and uh, the different color options. That's that's why you're going to buy the, the, the new light version. Um, let's see here. Perfect for someone who wants to transport their e-bike a lot, but doesn't have a bike rack. I agree. Uh, it's just it's going to be even easier to put in your car and uh, in your trunk and things like that. Uh, there's a truck driver on here who's also got some comments. Here he goes. Uh, Tom Bell says, as a truck driver, I would have certainly considered a 50 pound e-bike over the 2.0 XP. The more he says, I look at the light model, the more I wished I had bought it over the 2.0 XP that I just bought. The lighter version is perfect for truck drivers. Uh, the biggest negative I've heard from other truck drivers is the weight of the 2.0 and the unwieldiness. Um, and then, you know, the 2.0 is still a pretty easy bike to, to maneuver, get around. It, at 63 pounds, it is still on the heavier side, so I can see why he says that. Uh, Tina says, I like that it's lighter. I think it's 20 miles per hour is fast enough for me, but someone said no gears, no suspension, no fenders. Hmm. I guess that's a good first step towards an e-bike ownership. Maybe too much money, 22-pound uh, weight difference could be a thing. We got ours to fold up and travel by sailboat, so we will see how it goes as we start our cruising life. Uh, love it, but I'm very happy with 2.0. Wouldn't trade it. I wish some luck. Uh, Frank says electric research and development teams suck. Smaller motors, less powerful batteries is not what consumer bikes want. Well, Frank, I would disagree there. I'm sure they've done their research here. They're not going to uh, launch a new bike uh, without doing their homework. And there are a certain set of people who want lighter e-bikes 
Um, and uh, to do that, you have to put in smaller motors. There's just no way around it. And um, there's also you know, certain people who want more power for e-bikes like me. Um, but uh, that's just the way the uh, cookie crumbles there, Frank. So um, I like it. If I were, uh, Joe says, if it were a month ago, I would have bought the uh, XP Lite instead of the 2.0, but I'm happy what he has. Um, Let's see here, a pretty cool bike, filling that inexpensive minimum niche. I have no doubt it'll be a big seller for electric. And I like the new colors. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the colors are just pretty cool. And again, they need to bring those out for all their models, not just the light version. So uh, definitely like those new colors, pretty sharp. Well, that's it for uh, this video, guys. Go and uh, read the comments. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more uh, XP Lite videos coming out on YouTube as well. And um, big news from electric though, pretty cool to, uh, here's a side-by-side -side kind of, uh, pretty cool to see the new stuff. And uh, whenever there's a new e-bike, it's always exciting to talk about it and hear what you guys think. So leave your message, leave your comments there on the uh, thread and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Got some uh, 2.0 videos coming at you in the next uh, few weeks. So stay tuned for those. And thanks for watching. Thank you.